In this video, we're going to look at how to configure GitSync. GitSync is used for uh, synchronizing your local repository configuration files for PowerShell Universal um, to a remote Git repository. So this will work with systems like GitHub, GitHub Enterprise, GitLab, Bitbucket, Azure DevOps. And what it's going to do is it's going to automatically synchronize your files um, once a minute up to your repository or back down from your repository, depending on how you configure it. So I have an empty GitHub repository here, and what I'm going to do is configure my PowerShell Universal instance to synchronize with it. Uh, my PowerShell Universal instance is running locally on um, localhost 5000 here, and you can see I have um, a script in here that has uh, write host hello in it. So the first thing I need to do is get my URL, and I'm going to put that into my app settings.json file. So I'm running this kind of just locally. You can imagine I'm running this as a zip um, install, and the app settings.json file will just be in the root of the installation folder. So if you've unzipped it, it'll just be in that root. If you've installed by MSI, it's going to be in C program files x86 universal. The other place that you can in, um, set these configuration files are either in um, environment variables or you can actually install the app settings.json file into the program data folder so it's not overwritten every time you um, do an install. But I'm just kind of, I have the default location right now. So I'm going to put um, my git remote URL in here. So I want to be in the data git remote setting. And you can see it's just the URL provided by GitHub. Uh, next, I need credentials. So I am going to uh, put in any username. And we're going to be using a personal access token in this case. And, and when you do it that way, you don't actually need to put your username in. But I'll just put mine in there. And then we can come back over to GitHub and click. Uh, our profile, settings, and then I can go to developer settings at the bottom here, personal access tokens, and then I want to create a new token. So generate a new token. We're going to call it PSU training. I'm just going to let it expire in 30 days, and I want to give it uh, the repo scope. So then I generate that token. Oh, I already have that token, so I'll do two. And you can see this is what a personal access token looks like. Very similar to what you'd see in PowerShell Universal. Now, I'm going to put that in the password field. Save that. And there's two more settings I want to set. I want to set the branch. So we're going to set this as main branch. And I want to set the get initialization or the get initialized behavior to init. So there's two settings that you can set in there. One is init and one is clone. So since I already have files inside my uh, repository folder here, I, I want to initialize it. I don't want to clone it. All right, so once we set the settings, we actually have to stop PowerShell Universal and restart it. So I'm going to start that back up. And I'm going to wait a second because it wasn't totally stopped. All right, there we go. So now PowerShell Universal is running. And if we come back to PowerShell Universal and we go to settings, git, you're going to see now that we actually have some information about our Git settings. So we have the remote, we have the branch we're syncing to, the mode we're in, so two-way, and then the, the last uh, synchronization that happened. You can see it actually lists the files that were changed. Um, and this is the commit ID that you would actually be able to correlate that to on GitHub. If we actually go back to our GitHub uh, repository here, um, I am just going to reload this page. And now you can see that my files have synchronized up to GitHub. What's cool, since we're in a two-way sync, is that I can actually edit files up here and have it um, synchronized back down to PowerShell Universal. So I'll just write, write host there, commit that. And pretty much the way the git sync works is every minute it does a synchronization. So within a minute, um, this write host will appear inside PowerShell Universal. So if I come back to scripts, you can see right now it's already synchronized that hello world. So I edited that in GitHub and it went and synchronized it down to um, my local repository. So it's just going to go back and forth. Like if I make changes here, it's going to make um, changes up in my repository within the next minute. Do note that there is no support for merging at this time. So if you do have merge conflicts, um, you will have to have those resolved manually. So um, just be aware of that. And because of that, we actually have um, additional um, settings to kind of prevent that from happening. So for example, you might want to put this in one-way git sync mode. So in that way, it doesn't push from the local machine. It only pulls. So let's do that. 
I'm going to change this to one way. And we're going to save that, and then we'll restart PowerShell Universal again. I'll give it a sec to shut down. And then we start it back up. It wasn't quite shut down, so we start it back up. All right, so now it's running, and we're running in one way git sync mode. So I'm going to reload this page. And now you're going to see some things that are different. Um, first of all, uh, everything's read only. There's no create buttons. Um, you can run scripts, so I can run my hello world script, um, but I can't make any changes. But that's because when you're in one way git sync mode, you don't want to push changes up to your repository. You only want to pull them down. So it effectively makes the admin console read only. You can still see your git uh, commits, but now you can see that we're in the one way mode. So it's effective really uh, read only. So this might be a good configuration for your production environment. Um, you can imagine you have a development environment, which is push pull, and uh, you make your changes and then you merge them into a um, main branch that then deploys out to production via this git synchronization pull. Um, there are a couple other settings that we can look at. So I'm going to um, actually stop this um, server. And I am going to set this to um, a clone rather than have it init. So in this configuration, what I want to do is actually pull down an existing configuration. So I'm going to come over to my repo here. And I am just going to delete everything inside my repository directory. So now I effectively have an empty PowerShell Universal instance um, that hasn't been configured. And what I can do is now start up my server, and it's going to do a one-way git sync and clone the files down. So what you'll see in here is the repository has been created, and it's done the git sync already. So it's pulled that down from um, GitHub and created this repository here with all my configuration files. So now when I reload this and log in, um, you can see, again, we're, since we're in one way um, read-only mode, we don't have any buttons that create anything. But we do have our scripts available. So any configurations you had, your APIs, your pages, your dashboards, all could be stored and synchronized down um, via the git sync um, uh, in this one way git sync. So in this video, we looked at the different ways to configure the um, PowerShell Universal git sync service to synchronize your repository files to a remote git repository.